Good signs for St Kilda with Loberg and Harvey getting early possessions. Sirikoski, a little bit too low down for him. Brown, closer to the ground, spears it up towards full forward. Heatley, good grab. 26 goals for the season to Jason Heatley. A real confidence booster for the Saints if he can notch this one. He's kicked accurately. First blood of the Saints. Who belts it back into play. Then it's knocked back towards the boundary line. Glenn Archer tackled hard. Blakey goes to ground. Here's Winmar. The Saints looking good. Winmar in the watch. Full forward. Good lead by Heatley. And Terry, when you, and now Heatley's playing off to bring it in the wards. Goal, and he has found nothing. But Terry, when your normal fullback is taken away. And this has allowed St Kilda with the opportunity. So Matthew Lappin from directly in front. It's another one. Koski taps it down. Brown over the top. Everett waits. Line hand pass. Jones again. Back to Burke. Measures this one. Zilla. And they need a Kramer. Harvey gives him that option and kicks the goal. Kick forward by Stuart Anderson. Oh, <laughs> big play by Ozzy Jones. Oh, is he on fire? And he comes to another one of the uh, little players, Brown. Edward oh! on one hand. Oh, goodness me. Now finally Zilla. Winmar. Beautiful delivery from the champ. On to Brown, and Brown has marked some 25 metres out directly in front. Yeah. On to Winmar again. Winmar into an open goal. Surely he'll kick this one, and he does. And Swash will kick it to Anthony Rock. Rock from left half back. And over the head of Roberts. The refrigerator goes hard and so too does Joel Smith. Healy, a snap at goal. And he has kicked it. Everett bring it up to low. Oh, back low here. No, he couldn't quite get there. Heatley again. Yes, it's another one. That's his fourth. Nathan Burke will be coming back on in a moment, which is good news for the Saints fans. Here's Anthony Rock. But Zilla blends in well with all those brilliant type players that they've got. Here's Wayne Carey. It bounces nicely for him. Now, can he kick a goal on the left? Beautiful kick. What a great goal that was. Listen, Heatley, let's hope Mick Malthouse wasn't watching this today from Western Australia. Five first half goals, and I reckon there'd be a remote control smashed against a wall somewhere in Perth today. Let's head back now to Waverley Park and take a look at the second half highlights. Warm with distinction at Moorabbin by the likes of Daryl Baldock and Tony Lockett and Joel Smith. Well, he's going to be a star if he isn't already. King with a chance to charge forward. Gets almost dragged down by Hudson. Still King. King has a snap at goal. And he's popped it through. North with a quick reply. Uh, Martin Pike off and running. He's looking. There's no one to give it to. Oh, oh yes. Great smother by Lowe. Shanahan. He's a tough defender. Chandler. Carey goes to ground. Now it's loose with Tony Brown. He tried to hook it out. Mark Roberts has got it. Good hand pass. David King trying to get around. He's super quick. Off he goes. Oh, the export Melbourne halfback. Kicks it with a beautiful kick up in front of goal. Punched away by Lowe. Straight to Peter Bell and Bell is belted it through by goal to North. Oh, well done by Tony Brown. He gets in a hand pass. Knocked on by Everett. Here's Blakey who's playing on Winmar. Back to the centre. Quick kick is by Peter Bell. McKernan, oh, courage. He's got to kick this 55 metres, Corey McKernan. Let's fly. No trouble. Beautiful long kick. And it's a goal.
Burke nearly read it beautifully. Shanahan, Shepard, or Burke flattened. Kick comes up by Cripps. Jensen killed it, get another goal. Heatley charges in, 15 metres out. He's kicked number eight. The big fellow back into the side today. And has been outrucked at the centre, bounces by Everett. That's a good mark for Archer. Up and under kick, dropping short. Might just get there, it has, it's a goal. North Melbourne definitely shown the strain here already. And Pickett, a little bit indecisive, finally goes long again, and that's two that, well, you'd have to say he's made a meal of. King, still running hard at the footy, kicks long and kicks a goal. Great play. Wayne Swass, so he's kicked to a contest. Tony Brown at the back, Shoal at the front, Lappin. Cook, Brown, yet another hand pass. Gives it to Smith. Smith races in the goal. He's, I kicked, think it. he's kicked another one. He's in the square. Harvey, the busy eyes, looking for options. Heatley. Well, Saints fans would love him to make it number nine. They've just had so many good players I'm not to raffle. I'm glad I'm not doing them. Heatley for number nine. Hard angle. And he has got goal number nine. Drive to the halfway line, Matthew Young underneath it. Here's Sirakoski. Now Zilla. Here's Burke. He's been fantastic again. So is Pickett. Pickett drives it long. Oh, look at this. Robert Harvey's marked on his own. 20 metres out directly in front. Not often you see Robert Harvey deep in the forward line taking a mark. Yeah, this will be a just reward. This is for his second of the game. He pops it through. Harvey has kicked two, he's had 17 kicks and 14 handballs. <laughs> so the last few seconds of the game, the Saints setting up their win in the first quarter when they kicked 5-3 to 2 behinds. North have tried to match them in the second and third quarters, but really they haven't had the firepower that the Saints have had. This guy started off in sensational fashion, Matthew Young with seven kicks in the first quarter. Heatley, oh, too far out, and knows it. Kick and a half to goal from there. Low! Kick one goal. From 30 out, he's kicked two goals. One on the side. And fitting in, perhaps, to the match. The Saints are all smiles. They've broken their drought against North Melbourne and in emphatic fashion. 20 goals, 13, 133. North came back to get within five goals, but the Saints boot it clear again. 11-13, 79, the reigning Premiers. Yeah, the Saints home by 54 points. Heatley, nine goals for the winner to take his yearly tally to 35 and for North Melbourne. Wayne Carey kicked two goals, but really he looked well below 100%. Yourself, but more importantly, a fantastic team effort. Yeah, it was a terrific effort by the guys. We were uh, pretty disappointed with last week, last week's effort against the Bulldogs, and we really set ourselves to bounce back, and, and you know we certainly did that. But you started off poorly last week, and yet today you came out of the blocks running. Was that uh, that Stan reminded you about last week? Yeah, it certainly did during the week. You know, just said you've got to keep on working hard and keep on leading, and things will come off for you. And, Basically, you know, we all made a pact to ourselves to attack the ball hard all day, and you know, we certainly did that, and we caught them on the hop. And what about the, some of those midfielders, Harvey, Burke, and, and Tony Brown? I thought was terrific. Yeah, they're just fantastic. I mean, those three guys, and we've got other guys playing there, but you know, Harves and Berkey, they're just in a class of their own for their stamina and also their finishing. It must be giving you a lot of confidence to be in that side week in, week out, and uh, down there with Big Stewie. Yeah, it certainly is terrific to um, you know to beat St Kilda, and you know the boys are going very well, and Lowy's a pleasure to play with. He, you know, he's just an awesome figure up there, and you know when he gets his hands on the ball, they certainly do stick. And Jason, uh, fantastic the support you're getting in the ruck from uh, Everett. He's uh, feeding those and really developing week by week. Yeah, Spider's been terrific all year. You know, he asked for an opportunity to play in the ruck, and you know when he got that early in the year he's just gone on in loops and bounds and it was probably his biggest test for the year today on McKernan and he's certainly come through in flying collars for us. Well congratulations uh, as an ex-full forward to see a full forward a uh, bloke